What do we have here? We've got a box in the mail, one of my very favorite things. Let's see what we got in here. Let's get my handy dandy little pocket knife. What happened to pocket knives? Nobody uses these anymore. I don't understand. Anyway. All right. So we've got a Drocon drone in the package. Gonna take this thing out of the box, see what's in here. Gonna take it out in the field, run it around the block. And if all goes well, we're gonna give it away to one of you lucky subscribers. Hey guys, this is Keith with Alien Drones. Thanks for stopping by, really appreciate it. It's really good to see you. Gonna take this thing out of the box, uh, see what we have in here. So let's just get right to it. Whew. Oh man, this baby packaged up really nice as well. All right, so this is everything that's in the box. And again, this is the Drocon DC-08 GPS drone. It's a beginner drone, uh, but does have GPS on it. And the cool thing with GPS is that if you lose signal, it will automatically be able to return to home. There's also a one button return to home. So if you get to a certain place, don't know where you are, you hit one button, it will find where it took off from and return there. Also has a HD camera. Doesn't do too bad taking pictures, things like that. Uh, has a, a single axis gimbal. Uh, doesn't have a full articulated uh, three axis gimbal, uh, but the pictures are not too bad on there. Again, this is gonna be a beginner drone, but it has some cool features uh, for this level of drone. So let's just put this baby together and uh, see what it looks like. And again, in a little bit here, we're gonna take it out in the field and uh, see what it can do, take it around the block. So this is the body of the drone. And it's pretty lightweight, uh, not a lot of heft there. Uh, one thing that they do mention is that there's no fasteners to assemble it, uh, so there's no screws. Uh, everything kind of snaps in place. So I'm going to put these legs on, for instance. Everything kind of snaps with these little clips. Got our battery here. A single battery comes with it. And these are prop guards, which we are not going to use. We're gonna take it outside. Uh, but if you don't have the GPS signal, uh, they recommend putting the prop guards on. I imagine if you tried to fly inside, I probably wouldn't unless you're really comfortable with it. Uh, but we're not gonna put these prop guards on. We'll just put them aside. Uh, so here is the camera. And the camera, uh, like the rest, is just supposed to slide in place and snap in so you don't have to worry about any fasteners. Uh, now, one thing they didn't mention is that the camera has these couple of little connectors, which makes sense. You have to electrically connect it somehow so you can move it, move the gimbal up and down. But they're pretty dainty. So I'd be careful uh, when you're putting this together when you snap these in place. Uh, so be careful uh, when you're putting this on and taking it off that you get these uh, little connectors connected right. There we go, snapped in place. So now we're gonna put these props on. And they do give you a little wrench here to kind of hold the motors uh, so when you snap these on uh, that they, the nuts don't turn. You can hold your fingers, but if you have big fingers like I do, uh, trying to get in the way is just kind of a pain. So this little plastic wrench does actually serve a pretty cool purpose. All right, so that is what we have. Uh, also comes here with the uh, battery charger. Uh, plugs into a USB port, uh, takes about four to five hours to charge. So only a single battery as I mentioned. And it comes with a remote and the remote does not have a built-in display. Comes with this little chip clip that you can put your phone into. And you see that it hooks up to your phone here. You just shove your phone in there, which is kind of nice. No wires to deal with. That's a plus. So Drocon does supply an app. Uh, you just go ahead and download it for the Apple or the Android. Drocon. I think it should be called Dracon. Dracon. That would be a much cooler name, I think. Anyway, it does come with an app. And the app is called Drocon Go. 
and it actually uh, does a pretty good job. And it's actually pretty simple. Uh, it doesn't have a ton of built-in features, but that's kind of neat too, because you're not gonna have to worry about your gains, your different types of speeds, if you're gonna have a, a frames per second or a shutter speed or a resolution or the types of files you're gonna save, all that kind of stuff. So it's gonna keep it relatively simple, which is cool. Once you get it out of the box, you're just gonna be able to fly the thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, it also then connects 5G Wi-Fi to your drone and to the remote itself. That allows you to have a FPV from the camera, so a first person view while you're flying. And then you can actually record. Now the neat thing about that record is not only are you gonna get it on your phone, uh, where it's gonna have a copy of your image, it's going to also record it onto the camera itself. So on the side of the camera here, there's a slot, and this slot is for an SD card. And this SD card can be up to 16 gigs. And I have one of those here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Uh, simply slides and pops in there. And there we go. So it just pops right in there. The cool thing about that is if you do lose connection, you get far enough away where you, your connection starts to get a little scattered or pixely or something like that, this will still be recording. So if you wanna get some pictures or some video of something that maybe is a little bit farther away, you'll actually have it on this card so you can download it later. Pretty neat. So lastly, the remote just takes three AA batteries that go in this back compartment here. That's really nice. You can take any off-the-shelf batteries and put those in. Uh, if they die down, you can just recharge them or grab another set and pop them in so you're good to go. So with that, let's take this baby out in the field, take it around a box, see what it can do. Oh, that's cool. And there we are. So we're out here, uh, gonna give this a shot, see how this uh, flies. We're gonna run it through some of its motions here. Uh, starting with the app, starting with the calibration and such, and then we're going to start a timer and actually see how long this thing actually lasts. So here we go. And yes, we're going to do our calibration. All right, so first things first. Going to do our rotation, our little drone dance. All right, then it says put it head down. There we go, head down, same thing. There we go. That's a good start. And confirm, GPS signal. We have, looks like 11 satellites. 11 satellites should be good. All right. So let's run this through the motions. Uh, see what happens here. So let's just do a takeoff first. And arm it. And we can do a Yes, do an auto takeoff. And there's a little bit of a crosswind, but not bad. That's hovering pretty good. So let's go up and just take it uh, out for a few uh, maneuvers, just see how it handles here. Nice and slow, actually. Okay, so one thing I wanted to check was the height. Uh, when I actually uh, tried it one time before, I had a limitation uh, that it wouldn't go any higher than a few meters. Uh, obviously, that's... Uh... Let's get this down. So I wanted to double check. There we go. So we're up 50 meters now. And you can see here's our video. Go ahead and try our circle. So it was actually doing our uh, circle around our orbit. That seems to be doing its thing. So let's go to the next one, which is a follow me. See if it'll actually follow me back and forth a little bit here. 
Because if we click any of the controls, it will actually stop our orbit here. So there we go. So now let's do a follow me. There I am in view. Let's see if it follows me along here. Okay, let's uh, take a picture just to see what this looks like here. And then also we can do a little bit faster. Push this button and it'll go a little faster, puts it into sport mode. Let's just see what that looks like. Not bad, not bad. It's relatively responsive. So now let's uh, do a return to home, make sure that's doing what it's supposed to be because our battery is getting really close here. So there we go. That was our landing. So let's take it back to the studio. So there we go. Uh, I think it was a pretty successful test. Did what it was supposed to do for the most part. Got some video, got some pictures. I uh, think it actually did its thing. Uh, again, this is a starter drone. So this is not the drone you're gonna buy to go do real estate videos. This is the drone you're gonna purchase uh, to go ahead and hone your technique to get some experience so you kind of know what you're looking for in the future. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you had as much fun as I did doing the video. If you found anything of use, please hit the like button. Let us creators know that we're doing something of value. And if you didn't subscribe already, make sure you do. Because the next video, I'm actually going to give this Drocon drone away uh, to one of the lucky subscribers for free. Uh, so if you're not subscribed, you won't know that's coming. So make sure you hit that button right now. And with that, until next time, good flying.